Hey guys, this is Mike from Frightflix. I am kind of busy right now. I'm just going to throw something up pretty quickly. This is something I've been kind of wanting to try, which is a running commentary. And the cool thing about this is that the video that I'm going to be doing it for is available here on YouTube. And the link is right there in the description. So go ahead and click on that. And you can watch it at the same time that I'm going to talk over it because I really do want to talk about Scream Season 2 and especially the official cold open that they just put up recently. Um, very excited about all this kind of stuff. And um, so if you uh, have been wondering basically what we've been up to, I'm going to, after this commentary, running commentary is over, there's going to be a little separate section. You can look at it in the description. Um, just a, you know, this is also kind of going to be an update on what we've been up to and what we're going to be up to, that kind of stuff. Um, so let's get right to it. And then afterwards we will do the update part of it. So if you want to click on the video, get it started and hit play. Well, after you have to sit through at least that Ricky Gervais commercial, I wonder if it's the same for you. But anyway, uh, once that's all good and hit play now. Okay, so yeah, and it's starting the little cat, pulling back, and then here's the girl. See, I thought this was uh, kind of funny right off the bat, is because, you know, I, we all expected season two, probably I did at least, to begin with like a main character getting killed. And if you guys haven't seen this cold open yet, I mean, probably watch that first and then listen to this. But, um, you know, no main character dies or anything. And... So, I mean, I just thought this was really pretty clever because it did not surprise me that the episode started like this. And then when it was revealed, you know, in a bit here that this is just a joke and it's playing on a movie screen and everything, I thought that was really clever because it was like without making fun of season one and MTV and all that kind of stuff, like that's basically what they're doing here is like, you know, this plays out like how if season one showrunners would have continued this is probably the cold open we would have actually gotten um but anyway so i thought this was pretty cool and i also liked how pretty much moment by moment um uh, not that i i didn't set out to criticize this by any means i was really excited about it but everything i did criticize it would like automatically have a reason for doing something like that like right here um that pose this walk i was like well that's obviously a girl like they didn't get a stunt man this season that can like move androgynously or whatever and then whoop, hood comes off and i'm like oh okay well you know this must be some kind of, boom right there and i was like what the hell is going oh okay it must be some kind of uh movie we've seen this trick before uh a few slashers pull this kind of thing you know scream too of course but um other ones the one with tom hanks uh he knows you're alone uh starts that way but anyway i thought this was pretty cool actually reminds me of a slasher a lot of people don't like slasher comedy called detention which i really like um so anyway we go right into now it's audrey and i was like oh is audrey going to be the first you know kill of this season that would be really cool but i mean of course if we all saw the trailer which we did we know that audrey is not gonna die uh here but, I mean, I guess they could have and then, like, done flashbacks or something like that. That would have been pretty surprising. So, yeah, it's like I didn't expect her to die in this scene, which is unfortunate. And another thing that I think was cool that they automatically start doing right up front here is they cast, like, killer theory stuff on quite a few people. Like, one after the other type stuff. Murderville uh, banner. Let's check that out. That was pretty cool. He's all set up for the podcast. Like, they're doing a lot of character development. Why is there a close-up of that piggy bank? You need to ask questions like that. That is going to become an important little item. But anyway, for him to call right afterwards, it's like, oh my god, it's never. But um, anyway, then he shows like up. But we all know how that part goes. But we'll get to that when we get there. This is a nice little bit of a... Uh, you know letting us know what emma's been up to without having to like physically that's really cool that he's doing this whole like chart stuff like ooh, audrey you in trouble girl Ooh, you in trouble you let that poster say the virgin stabbing that's pretty funny um play on 
uh, the Virgin Spring, possibly. But anyway, um, yeah, so I thought all of this was was really cool and like i said that was a cool way of like now automatically we know what emma's been up to and da 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 da. but at the same time they didn't have they can give her her own intro they're not introing the show and audrey and noah all this stuff at the same time so that was pretty that was pretty cool that was pretty that was pretty smart writing it's like this first seven minutes is better written than you know 90 percent of the last season altogether um so anyway going into this part this part again pretty clever because it's like that girl obviously has that whole like and i don't mean to like criticize again like i'm saying but like she has that anytime you've seen a movie where there's like a cult of people who are fans of a movie or a group of survivors that kind of you know that cult of like it's that whole girl with the dragon tattoo cliche thing about like internet people they're all like into nine inch nails and dressed in black and stuff like that so it was like oh well she's definitely a cult of part of a cult of people who are you know going to be after the them and so i was like oh is that going to be the thing that runs through the whole season i doubt it because they bring it up so quickly but at the same time you kind of want to set stuff up that will eventually pay off as soon as possible so you know it was possible but again the show pretty smart they they like solved that mystery almost automatically and right here because the girl walked off so quick and everything i was like oh no oh no are we getting a dream sequence as our opening out that would have made me mad oh my goodness that would have made me mad um that like audrey gets killed in the opening and then it's a dream sequence that i would have been like nope no more season two for me. That's it. Um, but anyway, again, coming up as one of my like criticisms is once I saw the guy, you'll see, there we go. Um, you know, in this thing, I like that. I think that's really cool. And that's no doubt going to carry over. At least I hope it does because that's stepping it up. And it reminds me of what Ty West did on his episode, which was episode nine, breaking into the records office with the GoPro PO that was really cool um so hopefully they do that but anyway so when that person showed up in the costume I was like oh the costume's not lit well like the mask looks fake as hell like what are they doing and then of course it ends up being fake so I was like oh okay right on well that works um and okay so breaking out the ice pick yeah and that she stabs the guy remember maybe she stabbed him in the camera but I doubt it um oh no see there you go so this is all being live recorded uh and they probably show that maybe they don't but just remember that for when the episode starts and everything that yeah it's gonna that's definitely ending up somewhere and there was a little part in the preview where it was like look i finished what you started audrey which could mean you know the whole scheme altogether but it probably means by the end of the first episode that characters actually gets killed because you know the video will be, will be released and she'll get all this criticism but people will say it's okay it was your fault for trying to freak her out okay and the video is over by the way um you know and it just so she won't end up in jail but it'll be a big fucking thing anyway um so all said and done i really like that i thought that was pretty cool i'm really looking forward to this season um like i said i thought that was better written than most of the uh first season altogether and the first season was actually just released on DVD, I believe, on the 10th. It's the 15th right now. Um, and I might just have to pick that up. If anybody has picked it up, and I can't seem to find any information on this, are there any special features? Do people even bother putting bother putting special features on DVDs anymore? But I'd really like some commentaries, making ofs, and not those stupid, like, eight-minute making ofs where it's just the cast, like, oh, we had so much fun on set, and blah, blah, blah like real making ofs anyway if somebody knows just let me know um which brings me to a point about comments and replying and what we've been up to and what about the future of fright flicks and scream the tv series and killer theories all that good stuff so if you just came here to hear the commentary for this video you can go ahead and click off now everybody else i'm going to start getting into all of that stuff right now Okay, and so yeah, this part is going to be for fans of Fright Flicks and 
killer theories, all that kind of stuff. I had to pull up my notes real quick because there's just a few things to cover. Um, one, I want to say sorry that I ditched down on Slasher, but truthfully, it looked like quite a few of you guys did too. The views dropped pretty substantially on those videos and the show in general, for the most part. Um, yeah, I just, oh boy, I got really busy and I really didn't like that show after a while. I really liked the what they did to episode opening, which I liked. I really liked and then I think I liked episode three and then it was like episode four. I didn't have time and started watching it. Now I don't even remember. And it was, I just, Oh, I think it was episode three. I liked, and then four was, but I can't even remember. There was only eight of them. So anyway, uh, yeah, sorry about that. I just truthfully just did not have the time to get wrapped up in something else. As you guys know, uh, who followed us for the, um, Screen Queens, Killer Theories. I got way, 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 way in depth with that and still kind of feel like I got screwed. I don't mean to bring that back up, but it's true. Uh, so I felt like I kind of got screwed on that. So I was like, I'm not sitting through a whole nother thing and analyzing it. Cause I mean, that's what I want to do. Like, I'm not going to bother if I'm not going to do, you know, my OCD thing and really like break it apart. I mean, that's what I think I offer to people. We don't need just other reviews of stuff anyway. So I'm like, no, I'm just, I, I can't do this again. I, if I'm going to be able to do this again, I'm going to do it for either Scream or Scream Queens and probably not Scream Queens. Scream Queens, you screwed up so bad that I don't know if we'll do a killer theories for that one. But I mean, we might come September, you never know. Um, so that brings me to if we are going to be covering MTV Scream. And the answer is, I really don't know. Because the thing is, is, I just emailed Nate about it. And the reason Nate's not on this right now is because literally we just don't really have any time. And I can't go over to his house uh, at the moment. And I just watched the first seven minutes and I was like, oh, I got to talk about it with all my Scream fans. So like, uh, so I was just like, all right, I'm just going to hook it up. So I, so I emailed him. I'm like, hey, this is what I'm going to do. And... Uh, so like he sent something back and he was like, oh, I don't know if that's like the best use of our time because of the stuff I'm going to get into. Um, and I'm just like, ah, I, I know. But like at the same time, you know, I love talking about this stuff and I love talking about this stuff with you guys. However, truthfully, if it does, if we do cover it and if we cover it in like a killer theories way, it's going to probably be pretty sporadic like the one video up every week at the same time every week that we did for scream last season and scream queens um it's just really a, it's a strain like it's not that much work necessarily i mean it's a good six hours out of my work day to do that stuff but i mean i'm not complaining i'm just saying that like i don't know it's just it's the time pressure of it all and like you know I like to keep a schedule I'm very big on that kind of thing so anyway uh, I don't think there's gonna be weekly videos what will probably happen is I don't care how busy I get I'm gonna be watching the show um, because I really like scream uh, Nate didn't like scream that much so I don't even know if he's going to be watching it he might um, but anyway, I'm going to be watching it. I just might not be able to watch it the night it comes on or whatever, but I'm going to be watching it. And, um, you know, I want to talk about it. So it'll probably, it'll just be, like I said, sporadic. There might be a video per week, but more than likely it's going to be like, I would guesstimate a video probably every three episodes or something like that, you know? Um, which brings me up to uh, something I definitely wanted to talk about, which was the comments. Um, this video could also be doubly subtitled as like Mike apologizes to everybody but um anyway like like I'll get into again pushing that further and further back but anyway uh, we got really busy and um like I just couldn't keep track with the comments anymore and like uh you know I'm basically it's like just me uh keeping up with the comments and uploading it you know it's like I run the uh YouTube and uh, Twitter and everything, and so it's like, you know, just one, I think Nate tried with his, like, personal thing, and it's just like, it, it gets very difficult to keep up on that stuff, 
and like literally to people uh you know who you are like goku and uh you know uh perry people like that um all you guys awesome and i just feel really bad and, but there's just it's all so backed up by this point that it's like i don't think that i could go back and try and like answer everybody's stuff you know it's like oh it's just it's really unfortunate and um after i do upload this and everything i might go through and try um but i didn't forget about you guys i think about that stuff all the time it just really like because you guys that's this is the thing is you guys have such like awesome things to say for the most part like we hardly ever get stuff that's like oh blah 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 and it's just not worth replying to usually it's stuff that makes me think and then i have to go research something and it changes my opinion or i have to you know and we discuss stuff and it goes back and forth and like i mean that's true that's funny that's the detrimental thing that it was like i couldn't go on there because i knew i would just like spend so much time talking to you guys which of course i love to do that's why it would take so much time but anyway um so yeah i'm really sorry about that um like i said i might try and go through and reply where i can but for the most part eh, um if there was anything big you meant to ask me that was like specifically like bigger than maybe the specific videos that were uh you commented on uh comment on this one i'm going to try and keep track of the comments on this one um so anyway uh what we've been doing is we started making short films um when we met up to do slasher uh I wasn't sure because it's like still was making roomies at the time and things like that. And um, so it was like, okay, we're going to meet up to do Slasher, which was kind of impromptu, actually. Um, we didn't really have any time to plan that. So it was like, all right, well, I'm going to come over this week and make time to do Slasher. And we weren't sure if the show was going to be any good or anything. So I was like, I want to make the best use of our time. So I was like, when I come over, uh, are you and Jamie, which is you know Nate's wife, um, I'm like, are you guys down also to, you know, shoot a short film? Um, because to record, like, the killer theories for that show that early on, it was basically going to be a review, 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes just really wasn't worth anybody's time. So it was like, all right. And I dug up some old script that I had and um, that involved a husband and wife fighting and went over there and we shot that. And it actually turned out really well like we just did it for fun um it turned out really well so we got really enthusiastic about it and then made the uh another short film which you can actually find on the channel i'll link it uh deathbed which you know again we just shot one day and that one turned out really well like we're really proud of that one like that one was so hard to edit because i would I, I would i literally had the problem where I was getting mad because I couldn't stop laughing. And, you know, I had, it was editing. I had to pay attention to what I was doing. And then I would, like, laugh trying to hold it back and spit, like, on the screen and have to wipe the screen off and stuff. But anyway, so we were really proud of that one. So that really got the ball rolling. Um, and so, like, the next weekend, we decided to step it up and shot an 18-minute psychological horror movie. Very cool. Very cool. I'm very proud of that one. That one's probably my favorite, but I mean, truthfully, it might just be because like as much as I try not to be a little bit egotistical and arrogant, being that I wrote and directed that one, most of the stuff that we do, just uh, our dynamic to balance it out is Nate writes them and I direct them and we usually act in them together. But um, anyway, so that was one that, you know, I wrote and directed and but I really do think that it's pretty damn good. Uh, for anybody who's interested, I'll try and keep track. Actually, don't bother commenting here uh, to see it because uh, I'll send you. We haven't put it out yet because I can't just for festival and political stuff um, down the road. If I want to, I don't want to public publicly post it. But uh, if you send me a tweet, yeah, send me a tweet or send something. Message the Fright Flicks on Facebook and ask me and i'll send you the private link to uh these shorts if you want to see them uh at least house sitter because like i said i kind of feel like that one uh i can give it out if i want to the other one we did the next weekend was pretty 
pretty in-depth. That one was pretty long. That was the first one we shot over two days and then had to do pickups on it and stuff like that. And that was one, of course, Nate wrote. I directed. Uh, Nate stars in it. His wife, uh, Jamie, our uh, third producer on everything, she w also starred in it. And I'm like the third lead, I guess you could say. I basically just stand around and, spoiler alert, uh, get killed. So uh, anyway, that one's pretty damn cool. Um, the cool thing about that one is that one, almost every single shot of that short film is done in a different location and I had to stitch it together in my mind and then in editing later. So that was really, uh, really cool. And that it works is really cool. Um, but you know, it's scripted by Nate a really good writer, really good dialogue. Um, so that short is pretty, pretty damn good. It's definitely the most visually impressive thing that I've done as a director thus far. Um, usually I like to be a little bit more restraint and like hide directing. Like if you notice like, oh, that was a good shot. Like, nah, that I feel that kind of takes you out of stuff. So I try not to do that. Um, that one, I'll have to go over it with Nate, but, um, you know, we might be able to send you that one too. If you want to see it, I can definitely send you the trailer for it. Uh, so anyway, just, uh, message the Fright Flicks Facebook for all of this. Um, anyway, so after that, we shot another short, which is, uh, another comedy, which is Home Invasion. Um, that's a whole story in and of itself. That'll be released sometime around here. Uh, but then we met up to discuss what the next short film would be, and I was like, dude, I just... I mean, I really like to push stuff further than I think that I'm, like, able to, like, achieve, basically. Because that's all, that only makes it fun. Plus, truthfully, it's like if you fail, then you're kind of, like, not surprised. Because you're like, well, yeah, that was a huge thing to attempt. Um, but by doing that, you hardly ever fail. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, always aim, like, ten steps higher than you think uh, you can. Anyway. I don't mean to try and like inspire anybody. That is not what I'm trying to do here. Anyway, so um, I was like, well, yeah, let's just make a feature. And he was like, oh, I don't know if we're quite ready for that. And it was like 10 minutes of me pitching him on the idea and being like, no, you're ready. I'm ready. And he was like 10 minutes later, he was like, yep, let's do it. And he was totally down. So we wrote it. Uh, he wrote it. We, you know, went back and forth, this, that, the other. And we are in the process of just rewrites, prepping, and we will be shooting probably middle, beginning, middle of June. We should start shooting the first feature film by Fright Flicks, which actually I'm not going to reveal anything about it because we will possibly be launching an Indiegogo campaign very soon for it. Uh, not looking for a lot of funding, it's just basically a good way to get the word out on everything. Um, but if you do want to become an executive producer of a horror movie, just calling you out there. Um, we're looking for about 10 grand, but I'm approaching like, a, you know, quote unquote, uh, real production companies, that kind of stuff. You know, it's just like, if you want to throw five dollars in and get your name in the credits type thing uh feel free and we would definitely love to have your support whether in money or just you know wishing us the best of luck type stuff um so very excited about that but yeah that's taking up basically all of my time right now and it's going to continue to take up all my time but i figure i seriously don't even have like i don't watch tv shows i don't uh really even get a chance to watch movies I half watch everything just to like to get certain beats of things um and to try and relax uh but for the most part like when you're making movies and that like movies are so much your passion like you kind of would rather make them than watch them so I kind of have no problem with that but Scream I'm going to be there for it um any encapsulation of the Scream franchise I don't care um, I'm going to be watching it, make a Scream cartoon on Disney Channel. I'm going to watch it. Um, so 
I'm going to be there for it. I'm going to try and update when I can, but eh, you know, we'll see what happens in the long run. Um, so let me just consult my notes real quick. Yeah, whatever. Basically, that's it. Um, so yeah, we're making short films. We're really doing what we're passionate about. We really miss the podcast. It's a lot of fun and talking to you guys was like the most fun part of it. And, uh, so yeah, it's like, we miss all that stuff. We didn't forget about you guys. We talk about it like every single time we like meet up and talk to each other. We're like, God, we need to, but it's just, it's really just a matter of time well spent. Um, so anyway, just wanted to let you guys know that we were thinking about you guys and scream and all that good stuff and we'll be posting videos remember to check out uh roomies that was the other thing is uh just finished up roomies the season finale ended so uh um that came out on friday and so if like you're one of those people who likes to binge watch stuff feel free now i'll put the link uh in the description and we can watch all nine episodes back to back to back and those are done we're working on a i'm doing quotes again a secret special really cool uh video right now animation wise and then also balancing making the live action film but definitely check out roomies this episode is debatably the best i still think the christmas episode is my favorite but this is a close second uh, season finale. Make sure you check that out. Um, and I will talk to you soon, guys. And if you really want to get at me about anything, send me messages on Facebook at the Fright Flicks or Twitter. Um, and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. And I'll see you guys later. Later on.